Hello friends, this is Dr. Tanu Sharma and I have made the tutorial for the Chromax multiple dynamics using the Chromax. In the first step, we will convert the PDP in Chromax editable format. In the next step, we will define the box around the PDP and in the third step, we will define the solvent. Uh, add the solvent, then in the next step, we will count we will add the counterbalance to make the system neutralize to neutralize the system and in the next step we will energy minimize the system and in the next step we will perform the isothermal equilibration and and after the isothermal we will perform the isobaric equilibration and finally we will run the production and run so uh, the first step is the is to convert the pdp in gromax readable format so this is done by using this particular command that is gmx pdp to gmx minus f the name of the uh, protein file and then specifying the output file and adding the ignore hydrogen command so what it will do is that once you specify this command it will ask you to add the information of the protein uh, force field you want to use so i have used here charm force field and then it will ask you to use the water model you want to use so i have used here tip 3 point water model and once you run this command it will generate three files one is the coordinate file second is the position restrain file and third is the topology file so once you run this command the second step is to define the uh, box around which we want to fill the protein uh, we want to fill the solvent around the protein so using this command we can specify the box type we want to use and the radius of the radius around the box in which the area the area in which we want we want to add the solvent so it can be like 12 arm strong or 14 arm strong or it can be like 8 arm strong but it's better to use around 10 arm strong so once on this command uh, output file box.pdp will be generated which will be having a imaginary box around the protein so after specifying the box we will fill in the solvent using this command that is gmx solvent minus cp box pdp that is the coordinate of the protein that we specify and the coordinate of the solvent that we want to use spc 216.gro and the then we will specify the output file and we will also specify the topology of top file since after uh, running this solvent command we will can we will get a we will get a solvent file in which there are solvent molecules so these are the As you can see that it's, it's cubic in shape the box is cubic in shape you can also use triclinic ro rhombo dendritic dodecahedron shapes by specifying the box type in this edit conf command so uh, after generating the solvated box the next step is to add the counter ion because the protein system is normally 
charged or have some charge may be positive or negative to neutralize the system we have to add the counter ions uh, so for that there are two commands the first one is the gmx crop p command in which we specify the multiple dynamic parameter file and we specify the coordinate file of the protein and the topology file of the protein of the system sorry and in this way we generate the ions dot trajectory parameter run file which will be used by the generate ion uh, program to uh, to generate the to generate the solvated ion pdp file for that we have to first specify the ion.tpr file and name of the ions we want to use and we will just specify the we want to make the system neutral so we can specify that thing by using minus neutral command we can specify the concentration of the system by using minus conc 0.15 or which is the concentration of the normal cell uh, you can also specify other concentration depending upon your uh, enzyme assay for which you are trying to run the MD. So after these two commands we generate the solvated iron box which will look something like this. So as you can see that there are these are like chloride uh, chloride ions and these are like sodium ions and these are all being packed within these solvated water model So after that we perform the energy minimization and all the next steps energy minimization isothermal isobaric and the production run they all have two steps in common in the first step we specify the parameter molecular dynamic parameter file and specify the coordinate file of, of the protein and in this way we generate the trajectory parameter run file this trajectory parameter run file will be used by the gmx md run program to generate the energy minimized pdp file and once we generate this energy parameter uh, energy minimized pdp file we can check whether the energy is minimized or not by uh, plotting its energy so as you can see that energy of the system has minimized with time uh, so this energy minimized uh, system is further used in isothermal equilibration uh, in isothermal equilibration we specify the parameters of uh, parameters for isothermal equilibration in the nvt.mdp file we take the coordinate file generated in the previous step we specify this file as a reference file also and once after that we generate the nvt.trajectory parameter run file this trajectory parameter run file is used by the md run program to generate the nvt.pdp file so this nvt.pdp file in this nvt.pdp file you can see that the energy of the system is already at uh, normal root temperature that is close to 300 degrees celsius so after
after that we perform the isobaric equilibration and in the isobaric equilibration we specify the npd dot mdp file that is the parameters which will be used for isobaric equilibration in this file and take the coordinate file and specify the output file we also use the checkpoint file uh, checkpoint file so that we understand which parameters have been uh, used in the isothermal equilibration so that those can be preserved in this equilibration step so after that we use this nbt.tpr file and it is being used by the mdrun program to generate the npt.ptp file and we can check whether the system uh, there is equilibration of the system or not by plotting it its pressure so it it is more or less like sim, uh, stabilized with uh, with the simulation time so after the isobaric equilibration we perform the production run in the production run uh, we specify the molecular dynamic parameter file for the production run take the coordinate of the proteins and generate the md.tpr file we also utilize the information of the state dot checkpoint file of the previous two isothermal and isobaric equilibration and use that to embed that information in our molecular dynamic trajectory parameter run file so this file is used by the mdn program to generate the md.pdp file so uh, here on our system i run an md for 50 nanosecond uh, and we generated we studied the behavior of the backbone of the protein which was highly stable uh, and was showing RMST close to one Armstrong which is considered to be normal so and acceptable so we can say that our system has stabilized during this uh, 50 nanosecond MD runs similarly we can perform another analysis of the MD run file which may include the side chain fluctuations backbone alpha at carbon alpha atoms whole proteins as well as on specifying specified energy groups by specifying the index file uh, i will uh, add this add uh, i will make a tutorial of the analysis uh, and give it to you by next week